Program and Input, select the point and click Program Input. This will prompt you for login credentials. Click Go to proceed. Name the input in the first box. In the second box, select what the input will read from the drop down menu. The options below will change based on what you choose. For temperature monitoring, you will only need to select the type of sensor connected. There are also options for switches, grouping inputs, and transducers. Now choose an icon for your input that is relevant to what you're monitoring. Next click the alarm icon to the right. Enter the alarm range in the top boxes and choose if the alarm will be audible or silent. In the next box you can add a delay timer for alarm notification. Choose whether you want a latching alarm or a non-latching alarm in the next box. If an input goes into alarm, a non-latching alarm will turn off when the input falls back into range. If you choose latching, it will remain in alarm until a user acknowledges it. If you have set up schedules or checklists, select them from the drop down menus here. Next, click on the phone icon. If you want to use the telephoning feature, select either immediately or after delay from the first box. Then choose the appropriate phone list. Please note you must have already created these lists. To set up email notification, click the email icon. Choose which type of emails you would like to receive and then enter the email addresses that you want the notification sent to. Once you are finished, click Save to keep your changes. To finish enabling your input, click Manage Alarm and then Reset and Enable. Click Go and then verify that your input is reading correctly. 